So I have with me GM Shyam Sundar, who scored seven out of nine in this tournament. Uh, Shyam, how was the Kolkata Open for you? Um, yeah, somehow I managed to score uh, seven points. Uh, I felt a little bit uh, rusty from the beginning, so I I won two games somehow and uh, I drew three, four, five in a row. So I thought um, I need to do something before the game. So I decided to come by walk instead of coming by car, just around of one two and a half kilometer. So somehow uh, that walk uh, helped me to gain some energy, and I was in some kind of form just before the game, and I managed to win three games in a row. And today somehow I couldn't walk because of this rain. <laughs> Else I think I would have uh, made four wins in a row. I think. Right. So what is this about changing some of the things uh, when tournament is not going well? Do you change uh, something very simple like coming walking to the? How does that work? Yeah. Uh, Actually, I changed many things. Actually, um, before this tournament, I kind of had a fixed reporter. I thought I had prepared only E4 prior this event, but though I had a good preparation, somehow I was not feeling uh, confident during my game. So in between, I changed my reporter and I played Knight of Three, and uh, I just kept my options open: G3, C4, or D4, E4. Just uh, wanted to play something original over the board, and this is something Knight of Three I've been playing after a long time without much preparations. So I just decided to see some live games, what's happening, what's is, which is trending. So I just uh, changed my uh, thought process. I wanted to play something original. Even today, I didn't want to play theoretical lines. I just wanted to play some. I just wanted to play some sharp stuff at the same time without committing anything. So I played some kind of Sicilian. I don't know which Sicilian it is. Some 96 D6, some tricky move. Yeah, in BD7, early BD7. Yeah, some 96 D6 without committing Knight F6. Because if Knight F6, White can play some G4, G5 Kairos attack. So I just wanted to keep uh, as open as possible, and uh, he played g3, bishop g2, and uh, this variation comes in time on a queen c7. Here I did not commit queen c7. So only from my point of view, the plus thing was that uh, in certain lines, uh, white has knight d5 and queen c7 uh, time on because if after ed5, ed5, bishop on e7 is kind of attack. With queen on d8, uh, I played just rook c8, so that the white doesn't have knight d5 because e7 bishop is now defended. So I thought I was always in the friend seat, but uh, somehow suddenly I got uh, kind of worried because uh, some money wa was at stake uh, because I'm kind of unemployed at the moment, <laughs> and I need to sponsor myself for my next tournament. Uh, I'm leaving uh, abroad next month, so I thought I will at least uh, get some money first, some forty fifty thousand for next tournament. So I thought, okay, I'll play it safe. Finally, do. So uh, being unemployed actually affects your decision making in the tournament. Yeah, pretty much because in last couple of years, uh, such things didn't bother me because I was uh, quite young. Okay, even though I'm 25, 26, but still these days I think 25, 26 is quite old. So two years ago, it didn't affect me being unemployed. Money, it didn't affect me. I used to play very aggressive stuffs, and even with higher attacks, uh, I didn't play for draw. Even against two six and two seven, two seven champs, I was just pushing hard. But suddenly, I'm really that I'm 25, 26, and all of my friends are getting married. <laughs> They're getting set, settled. So I thought, okay, time to play some safe chess for a while, uh, earn some money, some 50k, 60k for at least for my Spain tournaments. So luckily, I won. I think I won something. So for my next tournaments, I think I can play without any mental pressure. I can play my aggressive chess again. Uh, you are one of the very few grandmasters in India who is unemployed uh, because most of them are employed either with railways or some oil company. Yeah. Why is that the situation with you? Um, First of all, I think I'm not that famous compared to 50 or 52 grandmasters, and also there are many young kids coming up. Like uh, my next generation is like Arvind Chidambaram, and their next gener generation is Pragananda, and I think even their next generation is keep coming. So I'm kind of old-fashioned fellow, and uh, and my rating is also too less. I've been stuck with two five three five two five five zero for uh, nearly four five years. So when it comes to job opportunities, I think they will uh, look up for someone who is young, who is vibrant, and also who is uh, nearly 25-50. So to get into job, I think I need to be around 2650 in a matter of six months to one year. So how do you make your ends meet? I am trying. <laughs> That's how I am making this such uh, safe draws. I am kind of struggling financially at the moment. So um, I don't know. I'm trying to take online coaching. I'm just doing something. I'm barely surviving at the moment. So mainly. Uh Prize money through tournaments is your main source of income. Yeah, at the moment, yes. Wow. Uh, so I think you are one of the very few players who who is making a living out of chess. Uh, although you say it's not a very great one. Yeah. Somehow, I'm, at, at least I'm doing what I'm loving. At least I'm doing something very passionate stuffs. 
So soon I should start uh, coaching into serious things, some academy, I should write, start writing articles, blogs. At least in that way I can uh, try to make my ends meet. So you are not planning to get employed, you want to start something of your own? No, it's not that I am forced, uh, I am intending to do such things. Just because no one is giving me a job, I am thinking of such things. I am always ready to join any job. Uh, because at, le at least it takes off my mental pressure. And surely I think I can, if I get some job or some financial assistance, I think 2650 or maybe even 27, it's just a matter of time, at least I think about myself. Okay, wonderful. Sham, one question we want to ask you is that you were you became a GM at the age of uh, 90, 21. 21. Yeah. Uh, but you were definitely one of the big talents. You have been in the top in nationals, in Asians and everywhere. Mm. Um, what is it that you didn't do so well? Uh, which could be an advice to the younger generation, big talents of the younger generation, the pitfalls that they should avoid uh, that you fell into. Yeah, <coughs> actually the way I became GM was a funny thing because I was 2499.5 or 2499.6 for nearly one year. Whoa. So just because of 0 0.4 ELO, I lost almost six months to one year. So that rating thing was there in my mind. So that's the one thing. Another thing is, uh, of course, financial assistance is always there, uh, some kind of problem. Okay, it would sound like an excuse, but it, to some extent it's also kind of a problem. And the other thing is, uh, I, I didn't have a coach and I don't have a coach. Um, working alone is uh, quite difficult these days. Like I'm ready to work at least minimum 8 to 10 hours a day. But working alone, uh, I could barely work for 7 hours a day for 3 four consecutive days. After 4 days, I'm mentally exhausted and such stuff. And a guy like me... <coughs> Actually, these days, many people prefer working in Europe, staying in Europe and working in Europe or playing in Europe. But a guy like me, I can't be away from my parents for so long. So that doesn't suit me. So that's uh, ruled out. So uh, for someone who wants to go at the higher level, I would suggest them to go and uh, live in abroad, or at least for two years, settle in abroad. And I think that makes uh, better things because most of the tournaments are happening in Europe and easy to travel. So basically, the easy thing is that uh, it's easy to travel. That's the important thing. And uh, I would uh, advise, no, I, would, I would just suggest youngsters to not worry about rating or not worry about even financial crunches. Till 20 or 21, you can just keep fighting. I think it's better to think about financial stuff only when you turn 23 or after 22. Till then, I think uh, with your own talent and potential, I think anyone can make it to the top level without thinking much about money. Thank you so much for being so truthful and honest about this and sharing your experience. I'm sure it will help the younger generation. Hopefully. Thank you.